A fireside peace behind a kind. Outside the blasts is making riot, and through the darkness the snowflakes fall. Here in my little room all is quiet, warm and dry, and so snug with all. Musing I sit at my cushioned settle, facing the firelight's fitful shine. Sings on the hop of a simmering kettle, songs that seem echoes of old lang sin. And close beside me the cat sits peering, warming a paws at the cherry gleam. The flames keep flitting and flickering and whirring. The mind is slept in a realm of dream. Many long, long forgotten summers rise up, a ray flag before my view. Some in the brightness of masking murmurs, some of the splendors bedimmed in hue. Lovely, serene faced woman sweetly, meanings divine in a glance convey. The wheelers mingling among them fleetly, kept and love, and are madly gay. Marble gods in the distance tower near them, dreamlike and beauty rare, as a fair growth that has burst in flower and sheds perfume on the moonlit air. Castles full many of wizard's story totter along with the crests of rye. Knights behind them, in full plum glory, with troops of their squires come riding by. It's gone, the beautiful dream is over. Away like a phantom the pageant draws so dear, the kettle is boiling over. A pussy is yelling with scaled paws. A love song by Heine Keine. Like the fires of those eyes of fine, the loveliest, the sweetest. Now, thrice have they as the man whom with true love for greatest. The heart, it is a diamond, a beauteous light it showeth. And oh, thrice happy is the man for whom with love it gloweth. Like rubies are those lips of fine, so perfect in their moulding. And oh, thrice happy is the man whose best of fair beholding. How could I find that happy man, as he is powerfully wended, some day alone through the green wood, his bliss would soon be ended. A mountain home by Heinrich Heine. On the mountain stands the shieling, where the good old miner dwells. Green fires rustle, and the moonbeams gild the mountain heights and fells. In the shieling stands an armchair, carven quaint and cunningly. Happy he who rests within it, and that happy guest am I. On the footstool sits the lassie, leans upon my lap her hand. Eyes of blue, twin stars in heaven, mauve as any rose but red. And the blue eyes gaze upon me, limpid, large as midnight skies, and the lily fingers archly on the opening rose but lies. Now the mother cannot see us, at the wheel she spins away. Father he is not here singing to the sitter that outlay. So the little maiden whispers softly that none else may hear, whispers her profoundest secrets and mistrusted in my ear. Now that auntie's dead, we cannot go again to Goslar, where people flock to see the shooting, tis as merry as a fair. And up here is lonely, lonely, and the mountain bleak and drier, for the snow lies deep in winter and we bear it half a year. And you know, I was such a coward, a frightened like a very child, and the wicked mountain spirits, goblin, who by night run wired. Suddenly the sweet voice ceases, startled with strange surprise. Downward straight the maiden covers with both hands her eyes. Louder outdoors, mourns the fire tree, and the wee goes whirling round, snatches of song come, wafted with a sitter's fitful sound. Fear not, pretty one, nor tremble at the evil spirit's might. Angels, dearest child, are keeping watch around thee day and night. A palm tree by Heinrich Heine. A single fire tree, a lonely on a northern mountain height, sleeps in a white blanket draped in snow and ice. As dreams of a palm tree, who far in eastern lands, weeps all alone and silent among the burning sands. A pine tree stands alone, by Heinrich Heine. A pine tree stands alone on the bare bleak northern height. The ice and snow is wafted as it sleeps there all and wide. The streaming of a palm tree in a far off eastern land that mourns alone and silent on a ledge of burning sand. A young man loves a maiden. Heinrich Heine. A young man loves a maiden. She somebody else prefers, but somebody else loves another, or makes him by wedlock hers. The maiden in the vexation, because of a loss she has had, where's the first kind soul that offers, and this makes a young man mad. It is an old, a very old story, but still it is always new, and then, wherever it happens, man's heart is broken in two. Art Finem by Heinrich Heine. The years they come and go, raises drop in the grave, yet never the love of so which ye my heart I have. Could I see thee but once one day, sink down so on my knee, and die in thy sight while I say, 
lay your love by the way. Change of seasons, Heinrich Heine. All seasons we may come to seek, where thou, my dear one, art. Warm summer on thy little cheek, cold winter in the heart. But all things change, and so, my love, the seasons shall depart. The winter to the cheek shall move, the summer to the heart. Child, it would be your undoing, Heinrich Heine. Child, it would be your undoing, in the struggle hard, you see, that your dear kind heart may never feel the glow of love for me. Where too well I have succeeded, pains me my own despite, and I often think, Ah, oh, would you love me, come whatever might. Death and his brother sleep, the Heinrich Heine. There's a mirror likeness between those two shining, youthfully fledged figures, the one seems paler than the other and more austere, might even say more perfect, more distinguished than he who would take the confident dangling in his arms. How soft then and loving a smile, how blessed his glance. Then it might well have been that as a wreath a white poppy gently touched my forehead at times and drove a pain from my mind with its strange scent. But that is transient, can only now be well, and the other one is so serious and pale that the older brother lowers his dark talk. Sleep so good, death is better, yet surely never to have been born as best. Death by Heinrich Heine Our death is in the cool of night, our life is in the pool of day. The darkness glows, I'm drowning, the day has tired me with light. Over my head and leaves grown deep, sings the young nightingale, and only sings of love where I hear it in my sleep. Ain is a lovely flower, Heinrich Heine. Ain is a lovely flower, so fair, so pure of heart. I gaze on me, and sadness comes stealing on my heart. My hands are fain had folded on my soft brown hair, praying that God may keep these lovely, pure and fair. Hast du forgotten, quite forgotten, dear? Heine, keine. Hast du forgotten, quite forgotten, dear? You possessed the heart for many a year. My little heart so small, so false, so sweet, sweetest and falsest heart that ever beat. The love and pain hast thou forgotten, dear, that weighed upon my heart for many a year. I know not which was greater of the twain, only that they were great of love and pain. I can't forget it, my Heinrich Heine. I can't forget I had you, dear woman, sweet to hold, and once possessed you, your body, your soul. Still want your body with body young and true, I can bear your soul, love. I've soul enough for two. I cut my sudden peace, breathe half into you, and hug you. We must be, yes, one soul and body too. I don't believe in heaven, Heinrich Heine. I don't believe in heaven, whose peace the preacher sights, and I trust your eyes now and my heavenly lights. I don't believe in God above, who gets the preacher's not, and I trust your heart now and have no other God. I don't believe in devil's hell or hell's black art, and trust your eyes now and your devil's heart. I don't know what it could mean, my Heinrich Heine. I don't know what it could mean, or why I'm so sad. I find a fairy tale from times unseen, or vanish from my mind. The air is cool in the darkens and quiet flows the Rhine. The tops of mountains sparkle in evenings after shine. Loveliest of maidens, she's wonderful, sits where the golden jewels glisten, she combs the golden hair. She combs the comb of gold and sings a song as well. Its strangeness to its old and casts a powerful spell. It grips the boatman in his boat with a wild pang of woe. It looks up to the heights, can't see the rocks below. A wave sent by swallowing the boat and its boatman, but it's what the by sing the Lorelei has done. I left thee once in mad desire, by Heinrich Heine. I left thee once in mad desire to find the love for which my spirit yearned with pain. At many a door I knocked and knocked in vain, craving love's arms which none to grant inclined, but laughing treated me with cold disdain. Yet still I wandered, eager in the quest, for ever seeking and for I am blessed, since no one gave a boon for which I pined. Then mother, turning to my home, I went, the very steps and saw numbing care, and lo, my pain was lost in sweet content, for what I sought came to me unaware. And with dear eyes that on thy son were bent, all that ask I found, for love was there. I longed to linger, resting, Heine Kein. I longed to linger, resting beside you, free from care. But you ran off, protesting, you had no time to spare. I vowed my soul should never know of a queen but you. You only laughed, however, and dropped a curtsy too. All day you sorely tried me, and, not content with this, you cruelly denied me even a farewell kiss. 
If you were not soft and I should survive it still, I've been through this so often sweet and it does not kill. I murmur not, when heartbreak is my lot, the Heinrich Heine. I murmur not, when heartbreak is my lot, or love forever lost. I murmur not, but diamond radiance cloths my form and light, your false no ray upon the heart's black night. That knew I long, I saw thee in a dream, and saw the darkness through the bosom stream, and saw the warm which feeds upon the heart, and saw my love, a saw full of art. If the little flowers knew, the Heinrich Heine, if the little flowers knew how deep is the bound that it is in my heart, the tears with mine that I weep for balm to ease its smart. If the nightingales knew how ill and worn the war would be, they would surely carol and trill, and all to bring joy to me. If I knew every golden star, the anguish that wrecks me here, they would come from the heights afar to speak to me words of cheer. But none of them all can know, and only can tell me pain. And she has herself a woe, she has rent my heart in twain. Immovable, unchanging, by Heinrich Heine. Immovable, unchanging, the stars stand in the skies, upon each other gazing with sad and loving eyes. They speak throughout the ages, a speech so rich, so grand, but none of all the sages that speech can understand. But I that speech have mastered can all its meanings trace, for a grammar served me was my beloved face. In foolish error I for thee did stray, the Heinrich Heine. In foolish error I for thee did stray, thinking the wide world I would wander o'er in quest of love, love that should have the power to fill my heart with all embracing sway. In every street I sought love day by day, beseeching hands I held at every door, asking for but one sign of love, no more. But all with scoffing hate returned to thee, and still I wandered o'er the very ground in search of love, but love I never found. Hopeless and sad, at last the homeward turned, and thou didst meet me, and when I soft glance my longing heart with raptured it in trance, for there I saw the love for which I yearned. The fond de cour, the Heinrich Heine, far down in the sea, when the billows heave wild, the moon's image trembles, while up from the sky she glides on her pathway, calm, peaceful, and mild, true to her mission, like an angel on high. Thus, while thou scannest up, up to thy goal, a high law obeying, pure, stainless, and free, my sweet image, child, trembles down in my soul, for it trembles itself, and heaves like the sea. Love's burial, the Heinrich Heine, was passed from life, thou knowest it not, the light is quenched in thine eyes, I wot, my rose red mouth, it is worn and sear, and thou art dead, my poor, dead dear. One summer night myself I saw the late in earth of a shuddering awe, when nightingales fluted low, a dirge like lace, and the stars came out on their briar to gaze. As the morning train through the wood defiles, the little night peels up the branching aisles, the pine trees in funeral mantles dressed, wound prayers for the soul that is gone to rest. And as by the mountain tarned we wound, the elves were dancing a fair round. They stopped and they seemed, or startled of us, with looks of pity to gaze at us. And when we came to thy lone earth bed, the moon came down from the heaven our head. She spoke of a lost one, a sob astound, and the bells in the faraway distance sound. My child, we were children, the Heinrich Heine. My brain, the ains, the brainies, we gamps and brainies tore, we crept into the hen house and yoked under the straw. We crawled like the cock doodles, and to hear us the passing folk, a icky creak who what fancy a just was the bandon cock. The kisses and the yards were prepared, and made them bony and close, and with the wild fat, with the wife cover, the larded near house. And after the neighbors old Badoons looked in for a morning car, and made her bobs and curtsies and snow and speech sinner. And how I been and how I ye was over your heard when she came, to moony a queer old tabby, the thin had we said the same. Whilst, like old cards we said to do, our what grand sense we talked then, and benumbed as how things were better, and times not so sick of men. Our love and little hearts and their wood sense had flown far with one clean of her, how the prince cover stood at my awful, and God not to warn be of her. With again the place of my childhood, and the things again good so, the good times to say in the world a faith and little the truth. My darling, we sat together, Heinrich Heine. My darling, we sat together, we two, in our full boat. The night was cow, white sea, we only were afloat. A spectre island, the lovely, they dim in the moon's mild glance. The sound of sweetest music, the wave of shadowy dance. 
it sounded sweeter and sweeter, it waved her to and fro, and the weeds that passed forlorn upon the great sea flow. My day was happy, Heinrich Heine. My day was happy, fortunate my night, people laughing when I struck the lyre of poetry. Passion was my song and fire. They had kind of many a lovely night, and summer still ablaze, but I've already dragged to the barn the crop I brought to birth, and I have to leave all that the earth made so dear to me and loved so dearly. The instrument sinks from my hand. The glass breaks and splinters, but to my lip, over confidently, I so cheerfully pressed. God, how deeply bitter dying is, a sweet and intimate the life of man in the sweet, intimate and earthly nest. Ni ein ni amour, Heinrich Heine. Of girls unkind, of fair and stately, this neighborhood may count a score. Though they hate to have suffered greatly, but from their love, or more, still more. In my brimming cup they have lately their poison shed, as oft before, hate potions sometimes, and when straightly laugh filters, that distress me so. But she whose name I laugh innately, who gave the wound that struck the core, most tranquil on her way sedately, no hate nor laugh she bears of war. Night on the shore by Heinrich Heine. Starless and cold is the night, the sea is foaming, and over the sea, flat on his belly, as the formless wind from the north, in secret grumbling for heavily, like a grumpy misery bag in good humour, chattering gaily to the waters, telling many mad stories, stories of giants, miraculous slaying the ancient sages of Norway. In between, he smiles and holds till the echoes are heard of the old magic spell of the Edda, and runic rhymes, so mystical, so magically powerful, and the white children of the waves spring up and dance for joy, wildly drunk. Meanwhile, along the seashore of wave-washed sand, a stranger walks with a step wider still than the wind and waves, with a steep wider still than the wind and waves. The he treats fire flashes, muscles crack, he wraps himself in his grey cloak, and swiftly goes for the hurrying night, surely lit by the little light which shimmers and glimmers so gloriously from the fisherman's lonely hut. Father and brother are on the sea, and quiet alone in the hut remains a fisherman's daughter, a fisherman's beautiful daughter. She sits by the hearth and listens to the kettle with its sweet whistle, and throws a crackling brushwood upon the fire and blows upon it, so that red flickering lights magically shine upon the angelic face of the delicate white shoulders that lurk and peep out of the grey coarse mice and on anxious little hands that clinch so close to what a skirt. Suddenly open the door springs and enters in the stranger out of the night. Love shows eye rests from the pale and trembling girl. It throws his cold upon the floor and smiling says, See my child, I keep my word. Come and with me comes the old times when the gods of the sky came down to the daughters of men and embraced the daughters of men and from them begotten a race of scattered kings and heroes, wonders of the world. But you may snummer my child because of my divinity, and please make me some tea with rum. We also freeze the immortal gods, easily catching a godly cold and an immortal core. Of pearls and stars, my Heinrich Heine. Of sea half its pearls, by heaven half its stars, and my heart, my heart, my heart half its love. Greater the sea and the heaven, yet greater is my heart, and for heaven pearls and stars flashes and beams my love. Though little the youthful maiden, come unto my great heart, my heart and the sea and the heaven are melting away with love. Once ahead, a Heinrich Heine, I had a lovely home not long ago, the oak tree seemed so tall there and the violets blew so sweet. And it was a dream that kissed me in German, spoke in German, you'd scarce believe for good it sounds, the words, I love you true, it was a dream. Once I saw many, a Heinrich Heine, I saw a crowd of flowers in bloom, on my way, too lazy of course, to stir myself and pick them too, and rode them by on my proud horse. Now when I'm wretched that I'm dying, and my grave's already hurt, often memory painful mocking the skin of flowers has gone as me. When especially a fire mellow while it burns inside my head, I regret I never fully had that sweetheart in my bed. My soul that sleeps water can even know, and licking in its powers refresh the foolish heart of man with sweet forgetful midnight hours. Silent is the night, Heinrich Heine. The night is so still, the streets are at rest. This is the house of my love graced of the town she's long since left. The house is here in the self same place. A man's there too, who stands and stares and wrings his hands in violent pain. And I see his look that makes me scared. The moonlight shows my face again. Oh, Doppelganger, you pallid creature, do you act the torment through? 
love torching me on this very corner for so many nights, years I had. Sleep and in peace, how canst thou, my Heinekind? Sleep and in peace, how canst thou? And now I am still alive, back comes the old wrath, and straightway my yoke and sunder I writhe. Does now the old world legend, how once a youth that was dead at midnight drew his loved one down to his churchyard bed? I trust me, thou beauteous wonder, of all sweet, the sweetest far. I live, yes, lith, and am stronger than legions of dead men are. Still is the night, and the streets alone, Heinrich Heine. Still is the night, and the streets alone, my darling dwelt in this house of yore. The years since she from the city has flown, yet the house stands there as it did before. There, too, stands a man, and the loft stares he, and for stress of anguish he wrings his hands, but blood runs cold when his face I see. Tis my own very self in the moonlight stands. O double, O fetch with the livid face, what does for mimic my love lorn mould, with respect and rent in this very place so many a night in the times of old? Summer Eve, by Heinrich Heine. Dimly falls the summer even over forests and green meadows. Golden moon for misty shadows beams down from the azure heaven. By the brookside the freshness chirps the cricket, and the flashing of the waters and the plashing greets the wanderer through the stillness. Yonder where the waters shimmer, bows alone the elf queen nightly, arm and shoulder shining whitely in the moonlight softly glimmer. The Ezra, Heinrich Heine, have the day so lovely, shining up and down the sultan's daughter, walked at evening by the water where white fountain splashes. Every day the young slave stood by the water in the evening, white fountain splashes, each day growing pale and paler. And the princess came one evening, quickly speaking to him softly. Your true name, I wish to know it, your true homeland and your nation. The slave said, I'm called Muhammad, I'm from Yemen, a tribe, it is the Ezra, who die when we love. The Echo, by Heinrich Heine. For the lonely mountain land, where rode a cavalier. A rider to my darling's arms, or to the grave so dear, the echo answered clear, the grave so dear. So onward rode the cavalier, and clouded was his brow. If my be truly come, ah oh well, it must be now. The echo answered low, it must be now. The evening gossip by Heinrich Heine. We sat by the fisher's cottage, we looked on sea and sky, we saw the mists of evening coming riding and rolling by. The lights in the lighthouse window brighter and brighter grew, on the dim horizon the ship still hung in view. We spake of storm and shipwreck, the seaman's anxious life, of floods twixt sky and water, twixt joy and sorrow strife. We spoke of coasts far distant, we spoke of south and north, strange men and stranger customs that was white lands and forth, of the giant trees of Ganges, whose balm perfumes the breeze, and the thin and slender creatures that kneel by the lotus trees. Of flat skulled, white mouthed Laplanders, so dirty and so small, who make the fish on the embers and cow and shake and squall. The maidens listened earnestly, at last the tales were ended. The ship was gone, the dusky night had on our talk descended. The Fire Tree and the Palm by Heinrich Heine. A lonely fire tree standeth on a height where north winds blow. It sleepeth with whitened garment and shrouded by ice and snow. It dreameth of a palm tree, that far in eastern land, lonely and silent mourneth on its burning shelf of sand. The going one, by Heinrich Heine, this died in me as it must, every idle earthly lust, made with two of wickedness, utterly no even the sense of my own, other men's distress, of its living in me is death. Curtain forwards the play is done, my dear German public's gone, wandering home and yawning so, was good folk aren't stupid though. They dine happily enough tonight, drink and sing and laugh. He's right, the noble hero in Homer's book, who said once, the meanest schmuck, the lowest Philistine there, Stuttgart am nectar is happier than I, son of palaces, the hero of Föld, the shitter prince in the underworld. The hostile brothers, Heinrich Heine. Yonder on the mountain summit lies a castle wrapped in night, where the valley gleam with sparkles struck from clashing swords and fight. Brothers way of us in view, with fierce encounter hand to hand, say what cause could make a brother against a brother turn his brand. Corned as a laurel's beaming glances at the fatal fort and flame, kindly both of equal passion for the fair and noble dame. Which have gained the fair one's favour, which shall win her for his bride, vain to scan her hearts and clinging, draw a sword, let that decide. 
wild and desperate crows of combat, clashing strokes like thunderfly, or beware his savage warriors, evil powers by night or night. Woe for yon, ye bloody brothers, woe for we, for bloody wail, by each of our swords expiring sink the brothers stark and pale. Many a century has departed, many races found a tomb, yet from yonder rocky summits frown with moss crowned towers of gloom. And the thunder dreary valley fearful sights are seen by night. There, as midnight strikes, brothers still renew the ghastly fight. The lure lay a Heinrich Heine. I know not whence it rises, his thoughts full of woe, but the tale of times departed haunts me and will not go. The air is cool and it darkens, and calmly flows in rhyme. The mountain peaks are sparkling in the sunny evening shine. And yonder sits a maiden, the fairest of the fair, of gold is her garment glittering, and she combs her golden hair. With golden comb she combs it, and the wild song singeth she, and it's the heart of wondrous and powerful melody. The boatman feels his bosom with a nameless longing move, he sees not the gulf before him, his gaze is fixed above. Of a boat and boatman rides the waters run, and this with magic singing the Lorelei has done. The message by Heinrich Heine To horse, my squire, to horse, and quick, we wink like the hurricane, fly to the chateau on the plain, and bring me news, for I am sick. Galide with the steeds and ask a groom, after some talk, a simple thing, of the two daughters of our king, who is to wed, and when, and whom. And if he tells thee, tis the brown, come sharply back and let me know. But if the blonde, right soft and slow, the moon lets pleasant on the down. And as for comest, faithful squire, get me a robe from shop or store, and gently enter through the store, and speak no word, but swiftly tire. The old dream comes again to me, Heinrich Eine. The old dream comes again to me, with the main night stars above. We two sit under the linden tree and saw eternal love. Again and again the polite trough, we chattered and laughed and kissed, to make me well remember my mouth, and you gave me a bite on the wrist. O oh, darling, with the eyes serene, and the teeth so white, the bows were proper to the scene, so the flows was for bite. The tear, Heinrich Heine, the latest light of evening upon the water shone, and still we sat in lonely hut in silence and alone. The sea folk grew, a screaming new rose and water swell, and silently a gentle lie gathered the tears and fell. I saw them stand in the lily hand upon my knee I sing, and kneeling away from my fingers fair precious dew I drink, and sense the power since that sad hour and longing waste away. Ah, me, I fear in each witching tear some subtle poison lay. The unknown, by Heinrich Heine, the golden haired beauty I'm always sure of seeing in the Torellas gardens under the chestnut trees, and the day she's out walking with two ugly old ladies, other aunts, and dragons disguised in women's clothing, couldn't one give me a clue when of who she was? I asked my friends, all of them, but all in vain, I was nearly ill with passion. Dawned by the mustaches of the elderly companions, dawned by my own heart even more completely, I will have a whisper, single side word in passing, scarcely to show my heart up ever passion in my glances. Only today I have learned at last her name. She's called Laura, like a beautiful province kale, a great poet fell in love with. She's called Laura. But I've got as far as long ago Petrarch did, who praised the lovely woman in Kansas and Sonnets. She's called Laura, just like Petrarch. I can try platonic toying with the name's melodic music. He himself achieved no more. The voyage, Heinrich Heine. As at times the moonbeam pierces through the thickest cloudy wreck, so to me, for days so dreary, one bright image struggles back. Seated all on deck, we floated down the Rhine's majestic stream, on its borders, summer laden, sleep the peaceful evening gleam. Brooding at the feet, I laid me of a fair and gentle one, whose blessed, pallid features played the ruddy golden sun. Lutes were ringing, youth were singing, swelled my heart with feeling strange. Blue grew the heaven above us, wider grew the spirit's range. Fairy like beside us flitted, rock and ruin, wood and plain, the gaze all reflected in my loved one's eyes again. The years are coming and going, Heinrich Heine. Years come and go, generations are perishing day by day. But the laugh that my heart aches with, it never will pass away. If once, but once, I might see thee, and sink on my knees at thy feet, and dying there, dying, might tell thee, I love thee, I love thee, sweet. There lies the heat of summer, Heinrich Heine. There lies the heat of summer on your cheek's lovely heart. 
the lies were cold of winter within your little heart. It would change, beloved, for yet not as the start. Winter on your cheek when summer in your heart. There was an old king, Heinrich Heine. There was a king, no aging, the father of lead and head so grey. He took a wife, the old king, a young wife too, men say. There was a handsome page with a fair of gold and thought so free. There were six with joy that trailed behind the queen. Do you know the ancient singing? It rings so true. It rings so sweet. Both had to die of loving, of love that was too deep. They have company coming this evening, Heinrich Heine. They have company coming this evening, and the house is ablaze with light. Up yonder a figure in shadow sweeps past by the windows bright. For seest me not in the darkness, I stand here under my room. Still less canst thou see the darkness, is shouting my heart in gloom. My dark heart loves thee, adores thee, it laughs and it breaks for we, breaks, quivers, well out its dear life blood, but all this thou dost not see. To my mother, behind the kind. Proud from her birth, I never cared to pay homage to man would ever be their place. Now king, my boast that looked me in the face, he immortal, made me turn my eyes away. But in thy holy presence, let me say, my pride, O oh mother, fades and leaves no trace, and the wings drop that bear me up through space to scale the skies in the readiest open day. Am I overwhelmed because the powerful soul penetrating all earthly things is lost in God's own bosom, its predestined goal? Or is it rather that my mind is crossed by memories sad of wounds I often gave, a heart so tender, loving, patient, brave? Under the white tree, Heinrich Heine. Sitting under white branches, you can hear the wind blowing, blankets of mist shrouded, see the silent clouds flowing. See how the fields and forests are bare, extinguished down below. Winter round you and inside you, and your heart frozen so. Suddenly white flakes are falling over you, and crossly you think it's the tree sprinkling a snow flurry across you. But it's not a snow flurry, you soon see with joyful dread, its fragrant spring blossom teasing, veiling you instead. What sweet, terrible enchantment, with is changing into May, snow is changing into blossom, your hearts and laugh again. Warm summer dwells upon thy cheeks, behind the kine. Warm summer dwells upon thy cheeks, and in thy dancing eyes, but in thy little heart, fair child, cold frosty winter lies. Yet these, I think, as years grow on, will play a different part. Then winter on thy cheeks shall be, and summer in the heart. Are so forgotten, quite forgotten, dear, that I possessed the heart for many a year. My little heart, so small, so false, so sweet, sweetest and falsest heart that ever beat. The laugh and pain has the woe forgotten, dear, that weighed upon my heart for many a year. I know not which was greater of the twain, only that they were great, both love and pain. I longed to linger, resting beside you, free from care, but you ran off, protesting, you had no time to spare. I thought my soul should never, no other queen but you, he only laughed forever and dropped a curtsy too. All day your solid tried me, and, not content with this, you cruelly denied me even a farewell kiss. If you will not soften, I should survive it still, I've been through this so often, sweet, and it does not kill. What's this, a tear, one only? I'm a kind. What's this, a tear, one only? It blurs and troubles my gaze. My it has hung and lingered, a relic of olden days. It had many shining sisters, but away where all have passed, passed with my torments and raptures, a night on the driving blast. Away, too, have passed like if a poor, those deep blue startlets twain, that smiled those raptures and torments into my heart and brain. Like a breath, my very laugh, too, has faded and flown, alas, so no old lonely teardrop this time for two shots pass. When I a journey by Heinrich Heine, just by chance on my journey, and my beloved skin, sister and father and mother knew me and welcomed me in. They asked me I was faring and said, as I ended the place, but I wasn't changed a bit, just a little thin in the face. I asked of her aunts and cousins after many a tiresome one, I asked of a little dog that soft little bark had done. I asked about my darling and married now by and by, the kind of gave me an answer. A child had she did lie. I offered congratulations, murmured lovingly, he took a thousand greetings of all the heart from me. A little sister interrupted, the dog so sweet and fine had grown quite large and fierce, been drowned in a rye. The little ones like my darling, especially when she smiles, the look that made me miserable, she has the self same eyes. When I, Heinrich Heine, when I'm made happy by lovely kisses, lying so sweet in your arms, presence, 
You mustn't speak of Germany to me. I just can't stand it. I have my reasons. I'll leave me in peace about Germany. Don't plague me with endless questions of homeland, tribe and national customs. I have my reasons. I just can't stand it. The oak trees are green, blue are the eyes of German woman. The pine and seasons are about faith, hope, love. But I just can't stand it. I have my reasons. Where? Hein, hein. Where shall I, of wandering weary, find my resting place at last? And dropping self on palm trees, are the lames for rhine sweeps past? Will it be in deserts lonely, dug by unfamiliar hands? Shall I slumber where the ocean crawls along the yellow sands? It matters not. Around me ever, where sheer God's heaven lies, and by night, as death lamps o'er me low, his stars sweep through the skies. Thy roses are so pale, a Heinrich Heine. O dearest, canst thou tell me why the rose should be so pale, that the azure violet should wither in the whale, where the lark should in the clouds so sorrowfully sing, where from loveliest bells and buds a scant of death should spring, where the sun upon the meads so chillingly should frown, and that the earth should like a grave be mouldering and brown, and why it is that I myself so languishing should be, and why is it, my heart of hearts, for forsakest me? Yes, Lord wretched, and I murmur not, behind the kind. Yes, Lord wretched, and I murmur not, my love, we shall be wretched, thou and I, till of each aching heart death breaks with not, my love, we shall be wretched, thou and I. Upon thy mouth, scorn its light traces leaves, I see thine eyes flash out defiantly, I see the pride with which thy bosom heaves, yet wretched art thou, love, wretched as I. Unseen the smart about thy mouth's unrest, concealed the tears which dim thy lucian ain. Seek with the pain that wrings the haughty breast, perennial anguish, love, is mine and thine. For art even as a flower is, behind a kine. For art even as a flower is, so gentle and pure and fair. I gaze on thee, and sadness comes over my heart unaware. A fearless voice should lay, sweet, my hands on the head, with a prayer that God may keep thee always sweet, as gentle and pure and fair. Your countenance, so lovely and so beautiful, Behind your kind. The face so sweet and fair to see, Of late has come in my dreams to me. It is so gentle and the angel fair, And yet so one, so one of care. The lips are rose-red, but anon Death kisses them, and they are one, And quenched as the celestial light, And from thy sweet eyes flashes bright.